It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Washington Commanders and the New York Giants, next on Madden Football. It's a picturesque afternoon for football in the Northeast, and EA Sports comes to you from MetLife Stadium just across the Hudson River from New York City. Brandon Gaudin and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. The Florida Atlantic man, Greg Joseph, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So the commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here. And it's the rookie, Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick, leading the way. And he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special. A dual-threat athlete at the quarterback position. Beat you with his arm and his legs and runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. First carry of the game for Brian Robinson. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Working out of the gun, Daniels. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Well, they obviously read man covers their partner, and he got downfield, and broke down the defender, what, made him. What do you think, mean by that? Bro, yeah, bro. he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. And then he curls back inside for the completion. To throw is Daniels, and that is incomplete here. Absolutely nowhere to go with the football, and he's just going to put this one in the Hudson River. Maybe he's a little fortunate he didn't get called for grounding because that one was well over everyone's head. Now a second and ten. They run the draw here with Robinson. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit them with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are out in the field and only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. And he slides to avoid the hit. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. Now Daniels. That's to the speedster, Olamide Zacchaeus. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. 
We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Tackled by Isaiah Simmons. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. A quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. Ah, uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead, it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Throwing now is Daniels. Escaping the pressure right. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. First and goal. A chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll let the QB keep it here off the option. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, he had success earlier in the drive keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. To the air goes Daniels. Throw to the right here, taken in by McLaurin. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. That pass play good for seven, but it still brings up a fourth and goal. Great job here by this defense. They try to bring the receiver from one side of the field to the other, hoping he'll get lost in the wash. But a really nice job there to make a quick tackle and force fourth and goal. Daniel's going to throw for it. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. He couldn't get the ball away on fourth and goal. And on the opening drive of the ball game, the defense comes up with a goal line stand. The Giants offense ready to go to work, and they'll do so behind Daniel Jones in his sixth season now out of Duke. And he's coming off an injury-shortened season where he played in six games, going one and five over that span, with just three total touchdowns on the year. But the Giants have a lot of confidence in him. They didn't draft a quarterback this year, and they're looking for him to bounce back and prove that last year was an anomaly. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 11. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Second and ten. Throwing Jones. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathed a sigh of relief on that sideline. 
After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll get this into the hands of the wideout from LSU. And they work this out past the 25. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. That's really good play design right there, and it's one that comes down to the offensive line. It's a deep in route, but it's only going to work if that line gives you time in the pocket to wait for the route to develop. Mission accomplished there as they pick up the first down. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Now Jones. And that's going to be caught downfield by Slayton. He's to the 15. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Darius Slayton, 73 yards. And the Giants post the first points of the ballgame as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, the game had been pretty uneventful offensively until that big strike. No doubt about it. Almost felt like they were just going back and forth a little bit in the first quarter. But in the second quarter, things ramped up a little bit. <laughs> things jumped up. And you're exactly right. Going to make a highlight film or two. We'll be watching that one later on today. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. Just a four-play drive that time, and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. Yeah, this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's a second down and nine. Daniels looking to throw. This is swung out to Eckler. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And a dump off here to Robinson. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Well, his completion percentage continues to rise with that one, but sometimes you want your completion percentage to go down. Maybe you should have thought about throwing that one away. I was just going to say, it is easier said than done, but that's where you maybe bury it at his feet, make sure he doesn't catch it. Great, Jeff, great call right there. Put it near the receiver, no grounding, nothing like that, but no one gets a chance to pick it off either. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Giant football first and 10. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. 
Well, just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. Throwing to start the drive, Jones. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And Johnson is one of those players that I expect to get better and better during his time in the NFL. Long and rangy, a really good catch radius, and his pre-draft process, one of the best ones out of the tight ends. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. And Singletary has found a new home with the Giants after successful stints in Buffalo and Houston. He's coming off of three consecutive seasons where he produced over 1,000 yards from scrimmage, and New York is hoping that trend continues. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Looking to throw, Jones. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and five. Back to throw. Jones. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. And that's where you're counting on a receiver's size being an advantage. They were hoping he could go over the top of a smaller DB and haul that one in. A good thought, but that time it didn't work out. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Looking to throw, Jones. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Giants first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. He's got this complete to Robinson. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. The end result, 21 yards. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. Touchdown, Giants! From eight yards out, and the Giants go up by two touchdowns. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored, the defense got the ball back for them, they score again. That's the way you win ball games. Joseph now to have the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown.
Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Washington offense set to take over. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Dexter Lawrence finding his way through defensively for the stop. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Here's Daniels. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Daniels. Throw out wide is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Jones throwing to start the drive. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route, and he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. Here's second and ten. Back to throw. Jones, he's got Slayton on the slant. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first, and it'll bring up third down now. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. The commanders back out late in this first half. They're certainly in need of some kind of points here before the end of the half. A field goal or something being shut out right now. They could really use some momentum before they head into halftime. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels. Looking for the out route, and he's got it. It's complete to McCaffrey. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down.
Looking to throw. Daniels. There's a short one pulled in by Simmons. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Back to throw. Daniels. It's complete to Brown. Right side. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This will be from 56 yards out. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. And anytime you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through. And that one winds up no good. Singletary to get the drive started. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've reached halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the Giants out in front. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. The Giants got solid play out of their quarterback in that first half. That's Daniel Jones. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. All right, coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A two-touchdown game, 14-0 the score as we get rolling again here in the second half. And they will wrangle them down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Giants offense and Daniel Jones set to take over again. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 25 yards there on the catch and run. 
I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. Off play action. Jones. Once again, he finds Slayton. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Back to throw again. And he's got his man in stride, complete. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that <laughs> one or what? They would gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. Second down and goal. Jones eluding the pressure right. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Daniel Jones taking it in from a yard out. And the Giants take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Joseph on for the extra point. And his kick is good, and flags fly as well. Some frustration showing through right now. This is going to be a roughing call. Uh-oh, flag comes out here. This is going to be roughing the kicker. When you're going back there on the kick block, you've got to go to the right point. That didn't happen. Ran into the kicker. The penalty flag had to come out. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. First possession of the second half now for Washington. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels complete to Zacchaeus. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. From the 38 now, here's second down and two. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because... They have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. 
Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Operating from the gun, Daniels steps away. Excellent work that time to get free, and for his exploits, he's going to be left with just a third and three. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off, not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down, makes it manageable now. Daniels from the gun on third down. And yeah, this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. New York ready to go again offensively. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They have picked up right where they left off in half number one, just looking really dominant, extending this lead. And it's fun to see when teams actually do that because so many times you go into the half after playing well and you kind of relax a little bit. Ah, we've got this. We can kind of punch the button whenever we get good and ready. But for a team to keep the intensity and keep the execution up and come back after the half and play so well, that's actually really, really nice to see. And a pedal to the metal. That's what we're seeing right now. And Robinson, the motion man right. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. They go right back to Singletary, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third and five. Operating from the gun, Jones. Left side, he's got Robinson. And he will have a Giants first down. He needed five, he got it barely, as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. That's complete. It's neighbors. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. He could muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he will have a Giants first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. 
Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive linemen, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. A give up the middle to Singletary. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. Looking to throw. Jones. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. They'll run on first down with Singletary. Down right around the 25. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Off the play fake. Jones, a throw right side caught by Neighbors. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Right side, it's Manhurts, the tight end. Three yards is the game that time, second and goal. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Singletary fighting but he won't get too far maybe a yard that's all down to the two call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here it's third and goal this is kind of one of those in between plays here Charles on third and goal from the two or the three in that area what do you dial up something quick hitting you don't have the time for something that develops slowly it's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football and if you're going to throw it something quick get it out of your hands in a hurry so it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? They'll look to run with Singletary. And yeah, this is going to depend on the spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave them with some options here on fourth and inches. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others this feels like one of those doesn't it to me three points here a major letdown this is the time to go and put six on the board Singletary they'll run for it and he is in touchdown New York Devin Singletary it's a one-yard touchdown run and the Giants have opened up a four touchdown lead here in the fourth well, this defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one-yard line. And that gets set up throughout the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big bodies and determination into that carry, the end result, touchdown. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 28 to nothing. 
That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The commander's offense returning to the field. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Now Daniels. Here's a screen for Robinson. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, back door to them, and that time worked well for a solid game. Throwing now is Daniels. On the screen, this is Eckler. Seven yards there and a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. To the air goes Daniels. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see. And this is caught inside the five. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Well, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we sign off from MetLife Stadium.